this woman gets rejected and I am absolutely floored with the way things unfold. So apparently this woman was hitting on a bunch of men at the bar. So it reads here, she was at the bar and she was hitting on a bunch of men. She had a wedding ring on and so they caught her out on it and she was acting super drunk. So the owners kick her out. The day of love has been anything but for a 39 year old woman accused of ramming her Mustang into a Mandra bar after a singles event took a chaotic turn. Detectives say she'd been kicked out of the venue for attacking a staff member with a high heel shoe. A day for love filled with hate. A mother of two's Valentine's Day meltdown captured from multiple angles. The 36-year-old allegedly ramming her red Mustang into the monkey bar and lounge multiple times. Then driving home. In her wake, a trail of destruction. This woman is destroying everything in her path. She's destroying bushes, mailboxes, fences. I wouldn't be surprised if she ended up running over someone's pet with her car and turned it into a carpet. Jenna Manley's night out brought to an abrupt end in her driveway. Her brand new car, a write-off. Police say these antics happened outside a Mandra bar after the 39-year-old was kicked out of a singles event, allegedly hitting a staff member in the head three times with her high heel shoe. In court, her lawyer claimed that she was offered a drink last night by an unknown man, and after that, her memory became hazy. That sounds like an extraordinary excuse, like a really convenient excuse. So the lawyer stated that someone ended up spiking her drink. I feel like that is a far reach, honestly. Let me go ahead and explain. Okay, so you guys know you guys know the four happy chemicals, right? Uh, dopamine, serotonin, endorphins, uh, oxytocin. But did you know that there's an angry chemical, so to speak, called norepinephrine, which is responsible for both fear and anger? It also triggers fight or flight. So whenever you experience fight or flight in a situation, norepinephrine, that's the reason why. So if you take a look at that video, you will see that she is acting out angrily. And not only that, she's ramming her car into the bar. You can clearly see that she's doing this out of anger. So unless the drug that was used to spike her drink was a drug that induces norepinephrine, then it I find it kind of hard to believe that she was spiked. Because we know that it's not benzodiazepines because benzodiazepines, what they do is they serve as a depressant for the central nervous system, which means that they cause relaxation, muscle relaxation. They sedate a person and they can induce uh, drowsiness. So drugs like Rohypno, uh, which is Rufi's, uh, Xanax, uh, Quaaludes, all of those, those are benzodiazepines. Almost all of them induce sleep, which means that if someone spiked her drink, with one of these drugs, most likely she would probably be knocking out. I think it was just alcohol and she was just trying to say that she ended up getting spiked. So the blame wouldn't be placed on her. But I mean, obviously she did admit that, you know, somebody spiked her drink, which means that, yeah, she was drinking alcohol, which could potentially mean that, yeah, she was probably under the influence. I swear, man, this whole dating stuff is really making me go crazy, dude. You know what it makes me want to do? It makes me want to go purchase a red GT Ford Mustang and just ram it into a bar. Okay, seriously speaking, you know, I'm, I'm just saying that like, you know, it's, it's really difficult for both genders to go dating. Like everybody's just kind of fed up with it. Like I see some videos of women out there that are, you know, giving their experiences and it's it just, it really sucks, man. So I keep being asked, why am I not interested in dating anyone? And the reason why I'm not interested in dating anyone is because I, for myself personally, know that I don't attract the right people. This is my Starbucks drink today. I don't know if you guys have tried this. Pretty solid. And I feel like this is gonna get a lot worse because there's been articles already talking about how by 2030, there's gonna be a huge increase of women that are gonna be lonely. Yo, that's pretty insane. That is really insane. And I've seen online too that like, you know, they're blaming women like, oh, you know, it's your guys' fault because, you know, dating isn't working out. Dude, I don't, I personally don't blame women. I feel like it's mostly society. Society kind of puts like these ideas in us and like we create stereotypes from, the, from those ideas. Like I'll give you an instance, like, you know, the word loser, it's a very general term, but oftentimes 
it's used to refer to men who aren't exactly successful in in society and then the women too like you know none of them can like chase the partner they want because everybody always feels like they have to be a part of their relationship like like there's always like their group of friends and their parents telling the woman you can't date that man because that man's a loser stop dating him find somebody else you deserve better so i kind of don't blame the women at like as much because they've been primed to think like this because of the people around them. And if that wasn't even worse enough, there's women out there who think that they know what the heck they're talking about and try to put their input on TikTok. If I could go back in time and tell my younger self anything, I would say dump any man at the slightest inconvenience. If you're dating a man who is not actively fighting for reproductive rights, it's time to dump him. Okay, tonight is the night. Tonight's the night. New Year's Eve, best night of the year to break up with your boyfriend. I'll tell you why. You can leave them in 2022. You start 2023 fresh. New year glow, that breakup glow, it's all together. You take January, February, March, you get a Pilates membership, you get a journal, glow up era. And the same thing is for men too. Don't think that men are immune from this. Men look at sex like taking a piss. You guys look at it as a huge emotional investment. So for women, they can't fathom. How can you fuck another girl and come home to me? And yeah, women say they want someone to be vulnerable, but let me tell you the truth. They don't actually want that because that is going to unattract them. Number one, destroy her ego. Most women have huge egos because they have been worshiped by simps. In fact, he might give her a reality check and humble her. The way he does it is by treating her like the most basic and replaceable girl in the world. All of this is driving me nuts, man. Like, I mean, you know, pun intended, because we're talking about like a woman who literally just like crashed into everything. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like one of the biggest suggestions I give to people is just, you know, just click uninterested in all of these videos you know tell the algorithm not to recommend these like channels because pr trust me dude like all of this stuff is programming you and it programs you to like n hate a certain group and the thing is that like if you want to date the opposite gender how can you date the opposite gender when you hate the opposite gender again i'm just putting it very in very simple terms obviously this requires a really deep dive into understanding a lot of the issues and complexities. But as of now, I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave it there because a lot of the stuff is just insane. And I just wanted to just show that video because that video was hilarious. But anyways, yeah, I'm pretty much done. And yeah, hopefully you guys learned something today.